Oh, I had on. They, they automatically misinterpreted. They did that shit to me on Fabric 21 Friday. My hair was in the, a, it was in the back of me, and I had a hoodie on. They all looked at me like, "Bitch, I'm gonna spend money. Why are you looking at me like that?" Like, but this bitch walking here, like she, like she walks in here. They be like, "Oh, would you need? Did you don't need help?" They just look at me. As soon as they see us, they be like, "Oh, you need help?" We just wander around the store. Oh, you need help? But somebody else is doing it. They don't need help. Mm-hmm. Get the fuck out of here. Well, I think um, I want to ask them, um to your point. I think like it's crazy. Um, how <clears throat> a lot of times, like especially like on Rikers Island, it's it's mostly blood control, right? Rikers Island is is a high percent of bloods and anything else, um, and the COs they use that. So when a crip comes to Rikers Island, when a crip comes to Rikers Island, a lot of times to take away the light or the or the energy from them, they might put that crip in a blood house mm-hmm. because they wanna. Set us against each other and take away the light from us fighting against them. So, so, so when I look at that, um, and the reason why I bring it up is because I happen to end up, you know, I was in blood. I'm neutral, but I had, you know, I was in blood houses, crib houses, all, everywhere. And I know one time I was in a crib house, and it was um, a lot of dudes, crib dudes, that went to court. They had to get separated because they would either get fights, jump, this and that. And I remember um, when when one dude got jumped. He came back from court and it was a big homie crypt dude, uh, I think his name was Monster or somebody. He was like a well-known, you know, old timer. And the dude, all the younger dudes that's following him, they're like, yo, like, yo, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta cut these dudes, we gotta do this, we gotta do that. But this big homie dude, who you would think would be the one calling this, all these shots, is saying, nah, we're not doing that. Because at the end of the day, we just feed into, we, I'm not here to fight against this dude, this blood, or this king, or this whoever. I'm here to fight against the police. My case, the police locked me up, they put me in here. Now, I'm fighting against them to get out. So, so that's the mentality. A lot of, you know, the young dudes, they're like, oh, you know, they think it's okay to fight against each other. But that's not, that's not what's going, it's the hate against the hate fight is not going to be the solution. So, so I just think I respected that coming from an old time and saying like, yo, nah, like, um, you know, and they're like, yo, but monster, like, yo, we gotta come against these bloods, man. He's like, nah, man, we're not doing that. We're gonna, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're gonna try to, let's just try to talk to them. Let's try to unite with them right. and come against these fucking police. That's, 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 that's you know? And I, I was, I, I, like I was saying before, you know, like, about all the stuff that, um, you know, I was used to do. We gotta hold ourselves, like, as a people, we gotta hold ourselves as, like, higher values, you know, mm-hmm. like, you know, like, I'm gonna give for an example, like, like Mickey, like my son, Mickey remind me of my mom sometimes, you know, <laughs> like really like, that's like the queen, like we really got to like look at everybody as brothers, I mean kings, queens, brothers, sisters, all that, like right. I already told you when I went out and do my dumb shit, the number one rule was never do it to black people, mm-hmm. that's really what the number one rule was, <laughs> like, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. everything that we did, just bro, like Asians, all that, 